I'm so glad you're back here. <laughs> number one, out. it's always good to see you. But number two, I get to listen to your guitar rhythm. And oh, that's what man. we're doing today. We're doing another installment of Ray Rhythm. Mr. Tony Ray is with us today. And we're going to follow up on something that we taught the folks a few months ago. I mm -hmm. think you're really going to like this. It's all about transition chords, playing chords with more color in them. Just get outside of our regular G, C, and yeah. D that we might get stuck in. If you're watching here on the website, as a Gold Peak member, you have everything you need. All you got to do is just scroll down beneath this video, and you'll see the rest of the video segments for you to play, as, long as, as well as with the tabs uh, for the chords that we're going to learn. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or some other platform like that, I invite you to come over to BanjoBenClark.com. You can join me and Tony and watch mm. hundreds of videos and lessons there, all for my Gold Pick members. All right, Tony, let's, let's jump right into this one. Okay. Well, Mr. Tony, we're following up on one of the most popular lessons on my site over the last year. You know oh, how that cool. makes me feel when one of the most popular lessons on my site <laughs> is not my material, but someone else's. <laughs> anyway, you know, they always say the, the smart man is the one who uses others' talent, you know? <laughs> Man, I've, oh. <laughs> I've been using a lot of folks' talent. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got you back in because that was such a popular lesson, uh, both your Ray Rhythm talking about your timing and punches and things of that nature, right. and then your Ray Rhythm runs. Who can forget the, yeah. <laughs> the, the rhythm run of all rhythm runs? And so, folks, if you haven't watched those, you need to go check those out because we're going to be building upon those uh, fundamentals today. Sure. And I think that most, well, most rhythm players that I talk to, most of my students, one of the biggest things that they want to learn how to do is something different when they're playing rhythm. They get tired of, of sitting around and playing the same old G chords, mm -hmm. the same old C chords, the same old Ds, yes, and the same old E minors, and not only playing those same old chords, but also getting to them mm -hmm. the, the same old ways. Yeah. You know, nothing wrong with those little walk-ups and stuff. They're Honestly. great. But we want to expand people's chord vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. I just made that up. <laughs> That's very, very Thanks. good. I love that. Or vocabulary or something <laughs> like that. Um, and so we want to take a song like Will the Circle Be Unbroken? That's a that's a really good one because it goes from G to C, C. back to G to E minor mm -hmm. to D and back to G. So those changes, when you say that those are pretty common changes in what you're gonna run into in bluegrass? Oh yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know, it's usually always just one, four, five, G, C, and D. Right. You know, occasionally throw in an F or, or an E minor mm -hmm. or, or an A, but uh, a good part of it is exactly what Will the Circle has. Right. You know, in order to uh, to show folks what we can do. Good deal. So the first <clears throat> transition that I want to look at is going from that G to C chord, because that is one of our most basic transitions that, yes, that we're going to have. And, and most people know to use a seven chord yes. to go from G to C. If you don't know that, I've got other lessons on the site that, that teach that. What do we mean by a seven chord? Um, just basically a passing chord right. is, is the way I've always thought of it. Most folks would. Yeah, so this finger yeah. here, that's playing an F note. Yes, sir. Which is not typically in a G chord, but it's the flat seventh. It's the dominant seventh tone of a G major scale. What that does is that note points our ear to the to the major to, third to the of the resolve. C chord, yeah, to okay. resolve into a C chord. So here's the cool thing: that's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. But we can control the color of how you, how much color you hear, Absolutely. of going from G to C by adding more and more of those F chord notes yeah. into your G chord. So yeah. what we're taking, we're taking an F chord and a G mm -hmm. chord. We're meshing them together, aren't mm -hmm. we, yeah. to make it resolve into a C? Yeah, we're trying to. Uh... Like you said, color the chord, yeah. you know, and color that, that transition a little bit, which can allow to for like more dynamic, right? You know, a stronger sounding chord. Uh huh. So, um, so, so what like are some that, ways that just, you that you do that? Okay. That you bring in that F chord into a G to color it up? One way, um, just going. Okay. Okay. So, so you're, yeah, what's happening down here is just an F chord, right? It's yeah, just, a just an F chord, chord without you, you know your bass notes. Right. You, you know, there's your normal F. Uh -huh. But I'm skipping all those. And so, are you muting the fifth? I am. You muting are. The fifth. Okay. So the bottom part of your ring finger is muting that fifth string so that we don't get that big A note ringing exactly. out there. But it's got the D string still in there, yeah. which tells you, no, this is still a G chord of some type, yeah. right? <laughs> it's being sneaky. It's being sneaky, <laughs> but it's bringing in some friends from the F chord, which is, again, just adding more of that color yeah. 
pointing back to that. Just, just thump. And it sounds really good. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, that man, that's, that's awesome that's stuff. Tough. And there's, uh, you know, there's another version that I do, which it's, it's a bit of a stretch. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So I'm leaving that first string off. Yeah. And, you know, throwing in the, the bass notes and adding it. So the first string is open. So it's like playing an F chord with an open first string, which is an F major seven. Yes, sir. But then you're throwing in the bass. Now you do it with your thumb over the top, yeah. but you're superhuman. I'll tell you how I would do it. <laughs> I would play this note, that F note with my pinky. Oh, would you? Right yeah. There. And, and then, then I'd play that. Look at there. I just changed your world. In the you did. Actually, actually, see, this is how the normal humans do it, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it sounds great. So but I'd uh, rather struggle. Yeah. So if we're <laughs> if we were if we were doing uh, Will the Circle. Okay. Great. Yeah. So um, so we've given two different ones. We've got the. Play the F chord with an open D string. And then we can leave that first string open and add the F note in. Oh, that's pretty. And then, of course, I, th I think a final step, or at least one more step, would be doing the full F chord beneath a G root. Yes. And so you would just bar those first two strings. And that's one that I do a, a lot of times. Oh, just... But using the... Oh, using but the G root. Okay. Yeah. So you've got a full F chord. It's a straight up F chord, but it's... It's brought its buddy, you know, yeah. gee, it's kind of like it's bringing this guardian. I imagine the F chord trying to get into a club, the C club, yeah. you know, yeah. but he's not old enough. He has to have, you know, his, yeah, well, his friend, yeah. um, his guardian, the G, right, he's 21, so the, he's G's, the G's 21, <laughs> and it escorts this F, you know, F chord under its jacket. Yeah, um, but the he's court. got the secret weapon, because if you do that, you can pull off on that third string. Oh, oh. So... Oh man, that sounds great. We've got Which, all kinds of oh, little so colors that you can. Yeah. So you you, you, sh you can you should be able to go to the C chord like you've never gone there before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get into the C chord. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well that's a good start. Okay. We got a lot more to cover. Oh, absolutely. Um, and that's G to C using the different colors of an F chord mm -hmm. with a G root mm -hmm. uh, to point us there. Let's now talk about going to our E minor, which is a really common um, move. Mm -hmm. Lots of these bluegrass chords have that six minor or that E minor. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can come over to banjobenclark.com. Join us for the rest of this big old power-packed lesson, as well as many other lessons with Mr. Tony here. If you're watching here on the site, then you've got the rest of it. Just right down beneath, just, just click on the next video segment.